This is a quick look at your top weather stories on this Saturday, the first day of fall. We begin what we call astronomical fall at 954 Eastern time today. At some parts of the country, we're seeing those signs of fall. There is uh, some changing foliage across parts of the northeast. This is this fall foliage that we're seeing. Some parts of New England, we're seeing a little bit of that color now in these green shaded areas. No change just yet. We're getting a little bit of that change in parts of the Rockies in the next few weeks. So we'll start to see those changing leaves spread southward across the nation. And we're certainly getting a taste of that fall uh, in terms of the weather across the northern tier of the nation. We began the day with temperatures uh, at or around that freezing level around the Great Lakes where the temperatures dropped down to the 30s early this morning. So that did bring about some concerns uh, for frost, especially across portions of northern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, where the temperature did drop down into that 30 degree range and we've had a front that's moving east where you can certainly see how that's been reflected uh, in those temperatures early on today and plus we've got quite a bit of wet weather on the way because that frontal boundary isn't going anywhere anytime soon and that's going to result in multiple rounds of wet weather in some of the same locations in the coming days and it's really going to add up so this is rainfall totals through the end of the day on Monday and uh, you'll see how there's quite a bit of rain expected in a swath extending uh, from Dallas northward through central Arkansas toward the Ohio River Valley and some of those areas could pick up between three to four inches localized higher amounts over the next few days. And here's how this looks on our forecast. Uh, showers ongoing in some of those same areas here through the rest of the weekend. Drier yet cooler conditions to the north. Even some frozen type precipitation north uh, toward the Canadian border. Quick look at the high temperatures across the nation.